A PC man who received help recovering from a stroke is giving back in a generous way so that others can benefit like he did. His donation is helping provide a pair of very expensive robotic devices to aid in brain injury recovery. Emily Lazatin has the story. <laughs> Every step forward, Leanne Mork is working to get back to the days before she suffered a stroke. It was fun and it's improved my inclusion. I'm, I'm hoping that we can keep doing it so it will coast my serious progress. Turn, good, good, good. Don't, don't bang the wall. The machine, coupled with a virtual game of real life scenarios, is giving her the tools to walk again. We use it for uh, patients after strokes, after brain injuries, spinal cord injuries, allowing them to start walking sooner than they would uh, otherwise do. The local vet uses robotics built into an exoskeleton. It's a case of practice makes perfect, and gradually, Morp's brain should recall how to control her body while tracking progress. It's one of two state of the art machines at New Westminster. Queens Park Care Center. One floor up, you'll find Linda Masetovic on the Armio Power, a machine similar to the local mat but for the upper body. Feel okay? Yeah. She's got her eye on the target, recovering from Guillain Barre syndrome. It's very heartening uh, when you feel that you're getting somewhere. And this makes me feel that way because I'm competing with the game, but I'm also competing with myself. Good work. Good work with your grip. Costing hundreds of thousands of dollars, the machines are hard to come by. Fraser Health says it's all thanks to one generous donor, a Vancouver resident who experienced the benefits of the machines following a stroke. These machines are extremely rare. If we would not have been donated, then it would have been very difficult for us to acquire this technology. Back downstairs, Morks is slowly walking with confidence. So when we finish today, it's in the force of making my, my head strong as again. Without the determination of a patient, the machine is just another robot. Emily Lazatin, Global News.